morning. Welcome to yoga this morning. Uh, just a little info. I broke my toe a few days ago, so today's really about uh, do as I do, do as I say, not as I do. So I'm still trying to feel out what I can do. The toe I broke is kind of one of the important ones. It seems. Um, so if I say one thing, but I'm doing something else, it's really your choice if you're looking at me to do what I'm saying, or if you want to do what I'm doing, maybe your toe's broken. I don't know. Um, so we will start this morning in child's pose. So knees as wide as your mat, if that's comfortable, or knees closer together, if you want something a little bit more, uh, a little gentler on your lower back. And big toes are touching if your knees are apart. If their knees are together, then your big toes can have some space in between them. And then we're going to lower down. And when it's early for me, I need a block under my head. If you don't have a block, you can go grab one. You're not going to miss much. Um, or you can stack your fists, or you can stack your hands, depending on how much height you need. Your arms can be stretched out long, but especially at the beginning, I like my arms a little more relaxed. So a bend in the elbows. And then we're just going to inhale and exhale through the nose if you can. Each time trying to make those inhales and exhales just a little bit longer. Your head is propped on something and you feel your body relaxing. Maybe you can get a little bit lower. Take a few more breaths here. And then on your next inhale, work your way up into your table. So bring those knees a little closer together, shoulders, elbows, wrists in a line. Do some cat cow stretches. But just take a breath right here before we move anywhere. Feel your arms get long, your hands press into the mat. On your exhale, start to round the back, drop the head. So here's your challenge for today. Make this whole move last as long as your breath. So on your inhale, start to lower the belly. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And start to slowly look up to your comfort level. So try to move all the way to the end of the exhale. So again, start to inhale, start moving from the lower back, nice and slow. Push that mat away, creating that space again. Tuck the chin, look back between the legs, and move back and forth with your breath between your cat and your cow. Trying to make each pose last the same amount of time as it takes for your breath. So don't shorten your breath, lengthen your movement. A lot of us can move really fast. Fast is usually easy. It's slowing everything down. That can be a real challenge. Take one more of each, or maybe one and a half, depending on 
your length of breath. Next time you find yourself in your cow pose, one with a drop belly, you will just meet back in a neutral spine. So take that cow pose, we're in no rush. This time we're going to take a cow pose on your inhale. On your exhale, as you start to round your back, push yourself back into a child's pose. On your inhale, push yourself up. Walk your hands out a little bit. Coming into this knee plank. And on your exhale, lower all the way down. On your inhale, slide your arms forward. Elbows underneath your shoulders. The whole inhale. And then exhale, come all the way down. Inhale, push yourself into your table. Exhale, child pose. Inhale, knee plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, slide your arms forward into your sphinx pose. Exhale, touch down. Inhale, push up. Exhale, push back. A couple more of these. Your breath. I'm still going to cue so you don't remember the, the movements. Inhale to your knee plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale to your sphinx. Slide those arms forward. Exhale, touch down. Inhale, push up. Exhale, back into your child pose. One more. Inhale, knee plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, slide the other arms forward. Exhale, touch. Inhale, push up. Exhale, child's pose. Stay here for a couple breaths. Inhale, come back into your table. And then curl your toes and lift your hips up into a down dog. So it looks like an upside down V. But down dog is not really something I can do today. So I'm going to stay in my table. So in your down dog, you can pedal, you can sway, you can move from side to side, whatever you want to do. I'm going to make some circles with my hips here. Moving around. Take another breath just to move. And then hold in your down dog. So have a little bend in your knees. Heels are off the mat probably. So heels may never touch when you're in a down dog. It really depends on, it does depend on um, your mobility, but it also depends on how your bones were originally put together. Some things can't be worked around. And it's, so it's fine. And you want to press those hands in the mat and shoot your hips up into the air. So we're looking more for spine length extension and your hips going up than we are for heels going down ever. Take an inhale. Let it go. Take one more breath. And then inhale, look up at your hands. Talk slowly, walk your feet to your hands. And we'll meet at the top of the mat. Separate your feet and let everything hang down. Head hangs. Arms can hang or grab opposite elbows. Big bend in your knees here. 
Maybe as we go through the practice, I'll get a little straighter, a little straighter as we warm up the hamstring. But right now, we want to feel a little bit of stretch, but we don't want to feel any pulling in this hamstring. Two more breaths. And then release the elbows. Hold for another breath. And on an inhale, slowly work your way back up. When your head comes up, sweep those arms up overhead. Bring your hands into the heart and down at your side. Pause here in your mountain pose. So because I'm really thinking about it, you know, your toes should not be pressing too far in, too much into the mat. You really want to feel the four corners of your feet, which is the area of your, below your big toe, below your pinky toe, and as, if, as though you're drawing an X, it's two sides of the heels. So with your hip about hip width distance apart, just kind of play around and feel a, a real stability, a real steadiness, and a real evenness into the bottoms of your feet. And any time in your yoga practice, or really pretty much anything you do, if you feel like your toes are scrunching up and that they're holding you, try to relax them. Take a couple more breaths here. And then on an inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, twist over in one direction. Bring one hand at the low back and the other hand either at the low belly or at the hip, depending on how much you're twisting. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, twist the other way. One hand at low back, one hand at low belly or hip. We're going to move through this a few times. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale, twist. One more each side. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come through, heart center, and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back one foot, and then the other into a plank. Again, I'm going into dropping right to my knees, but you can be in a full plank like this. Take a breath. Take one more. And then lower all the way down, lower knees, chest, chin. Hands are right about under the shoulders. Take an inhale, lift your chin and chest. Exhale, touch. One more of those. Inhale, lift chin and chest. And exhale. This time, lift chin, chest, and hands to hover. And exhale, touch. Lower your hands a couple inches so they're closer to your middle ribs. Inhale, lift your chin, your chest. Maybe your arms straighten, maybe your knees come up, maybe those knees pop off, even just for a moment. And then exhale into a down dog, and then into your, I'm sorry, into your table, and then into your down dog. That's the first time we get to down dog a little slower, and you can always get there slowly. So again, if for some reason you're just tuning in, I will not be taking down dogs today. There's some other poses I'm not sure about, but we'll see. Just listen to my voice and maybe don't look at me so much today. Take one more breath here. And then look up at your hands and walk your feet to your hands, coming right into a flat back this time. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale and fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Woo! Palms touch overhead. Bring your hands into your heart. And down at your side. Toe heel your feet in closer together, though they can stay as much as hip width apart. We're coming into a chair pose with a twist. 
Inhale, sweep the arms up, sit your seat down in your imaginary chair so we can settle there. So again, don't want to be feel the weight in your toes. Your toes should be able to wiggle here. Look straight ahead. It keeps your heart nice and open. Two more breaths. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring your hands into your heart. Inhale, look over to the right. Exhale, twist to the right. You can twist with your torso straight up and down, or you can hook that knee, an elbow on the outside of your knee. Three breaths. Listen, inhale, chair, 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 chair. Look to the left, and on your exhale, twist to the left. Straight up and down, or elbow on the outside of your knee. I know, we're here for a while. You got this. Two more breaths. Listen, inhale to your chair. Hold, hold, hold. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And exhale, fold. Whew. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step, hop, or float back, high plank to low plank to heart opener to down dog. And then hold in your down dog for a moment. And then inhale, lift your right leg in front of you. I'm sorry, lift it, lift it back. I apologize. <laughs> And then exhale, bring it in front of you. I was busy thinking about how I was going to get into the pose. Inhale. We're coming up and we're turning the back foot all the way flat. So the big toe is facing the corner of the mat. And then inhale, rise up into your warrior one. And breathe. Two more breaths. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, open up into your warrior two. So now your back foot face, faces the long edge of your mat. The front heel lines up with the back instep. Arms are out long. And then maybe turn your palms up just to feel a relaxation in their shoulder blades. And you can keep the palms up or you can turn right at the wrist. Keep that relaxation now that you know what it feels like. And then sink into that front knee. Breathe. And you can stare out over the fingers of your right hand or straight ahead. It just depends on your neck. Three more breaths. Take an inhale. Flip the front palm. Bring that arm up in the air. Other arm just kind of dangles by the back leg. It can come across the small of your back as well. The one thing you just don't want is if your hand lands where your knee is, is to press into that knee area. You can press into the thigh. Or again, nothing. Or bind, half bind. Two more breaths. Inhale, warrior two. Pause for a moment. And then exhale, right forearm to right thigh. Left arm up in the air. Stay just like this. Or you can wiggle, walk that hand down. So if you have a block or something, this is a great place for one under your right hand. I kind of just let mine hover and I use my arm to push my knee open. But I've been doing this for a long time, so maybe you're like, I'm not hovering. So get a block and put it under. What you just don't want is you don't want to be able to touch and go, oh, look, I'm touching, and have your whole front body collapse. You want to stay nice and open. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Come back to your warrior two. Pause for a moment. And then the arms come down, and we're going to come into a goddess pose on this side. So bring your toes out and your heels in. 
bring your, pull your belly button in, tuck that pelvis under, and sit down. It's like a really wide squat, but you don't want your butt sticking out. So you want to pull everything in straight here. And then you can keep your arms down or you can goal post them. Breathe. And you can stay static here or you can add a little bounce to your move. <clears throat> Take two more breaths. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Inhale, straighten everything up. Reach up, reach up, reach up. And then as you turn that right foot out again, cartwheel the hands around to surround the front foot. And then take your vinyasa or meet us in down dog. So vinyasa is high plank to low plank to heart opener to down dog. And we're all gonna take a, a short little child's pose. If you are like, no, no, I don't want to. You don't have to, you can stay in down dog. It's only gonna be for three breaths. Back in our down dog. Pause here for a moment. And then sweep the right leg back, excuse me, the left leg back behind you. And then bring it through in between your hands. Turn the back foot down, a little bit of an angle. And then rise up into your warrior one. Sweep those arms up and again, relax those shoulders down. If you can't do both, then keep your hands down or maybe goal posted. Sometimes it's really hard to get those shoulders to relax once you've got the arms up. You just don't have the movement yet and that's fine. So you make adjustments. Two more breaths. Take an inhale and then exhale. Open up into that warrior two. So back toes face the long edge of the mat. Front heel lines up with the back instep and settle. Keep that knee open again if it's better for you with the palms up or just to bring them up and then just turn at the wrist. Sometimes we don't even know we're hunched until we unhunch. Actually, most of the time we don't know. Shoulders are a part of our body that just kind of have a mind of their own. Actually, I think they're connected right to our mind. So anytime we're stressed, anxious, they just keep going up and up and up. And they leave the whole thought process out of it. Two more breaths. An inhale. Exhale. Inhale, flip the front palm. Bring that arm up in the air. Other arm. Again, it can float. It can press into the thigh if that feels good for you with some leverage. It can half bind. You're just looking to not press into your knee. And sink into that front knee. Speaking of knees, sometimes we pull back. Our knee goes with us, but we want to really sink here. Two more breaths. Take an inhale. Let it go. Inhale, warrior two, pause. Exhale, left forearm or elbow to thigh, right arm up in the air, and you can stay right here. So when you get here, you're like, oh my gosh, I get a break. 
and then right about now that I'm talking, you're like, oh no, I feel it. So it's not really a break, but however you can, but however, however you can snake the arm down to a block or let it hover. And again, when I do that, I use my forearm to press against my knee to make sure my knee doesn't collapse in. And you've got two more breaths. And then inhale, rise up to your warrior two. And let the arms relax. This time we're gonna take a wide-legged forward fold. So when we do that, play around with uh, foot placement. You can have toes out, heels in like you were in goddess pose or you can play around with having toes straight on or even toes in a little bit. I'm gonna try toes straight on. This is a pose I haven't tried yet, so I'm not sure how it's gonna feel, but you, again, don't pay attention to me. Just inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, come to a flat back, and you can always stay in a flat back. And then exhale, if you'd like to keep folding. Hands can go to the mat, they can go to block, they can go to your ankles or shins. And then let your head go. Give a little shake, yes and no, to feel some relief. Okay, so this is actually, if I pay attention to those four corners of my feet, my toe's not even involved here. And we're gonna hang out here for about three more breaths. to your flat back, and then rise all the way up. Turn your front toe, pivot on it, and then cartwheel your hands around to surround it. Step back, high plank, low plank, heart opener, down dog, and child's pose again. Just a short one, three breaths. Inhale, back to your down dog. Pause for a moment. And then rock back into a plank. Hold your plank. Breathe and hold, breathe and hold, breathe and hold. Take one more inhale. And then as slow as you can, lower all the way down to the mat. Take your time, take your time. Really feel this whole lowering. Once you do touch down, bring those arms alongside your body. Palms up, big toes touch, heels fall open, look to the right. Turn your chin center, bring your hands under your shoulders. We're gonna come into that cobra again, but we're gonna hold it this time. So you really pay attention to the whole setup. So press the tops of your feet into the mat. Engage all the muscles of your legs so much so that your kneecaps come up. And then inhale, lift your chin and chest. And exhale, lift your hands. Press those feet in, it will give you leverage. Breathe, breathe, breathe. So if you're holding your breath, that means you're not moving up and down. So look at, feel yourself. Are you moving up and down? Because then you're breathing. If not, start breathing. Two more breaths. Take an inhale. 
and then exhale, come all the way down, arms alongside your body, big toes touch, heels fall open, look left. <clears throat> Turn your chin center, leave your arms alongside your body, but turn your palms down. So you have a choice, leaving the palms on the outside of the body, press in, that's your leverage. Or you can wiggle along your hands under you, maybe a little, maybe a lot, maybe your pinkies touch, but they're still pressing into the mat and that's your leverage. Chin lift or forehead, stay down for this pose. And then inhale, lift your legs. And it doesn't matter how high your legs get up off the ground, you're trying to feel a length. So stretch those piggies toward the back of the room. Stretch, 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 stretch. Breathe, 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 breathe. Two more breaths. And then let your legs come down. Bring the hands out from under where they were. Turn your wrists a little, big toes touch, heels fall open, palms up, look to the right. Turn your chin center, arms stay on the out, or stay long and on the outside of your body, palms up or down. I like down. But if you like up, we're lifting everything. We're putting those two moves together. So take an inhale, lift your chin and chest. Exhale, lift your arms and legs. And breathe. Two more. And then exhale, come all the way down, big toes touch, palms up, look to the left. Inhale, turn center, push yourself up into a table. Pause here, we're gonna do a little bit of core and balance. Yes, you can do balance when you're not standing up. So inhale, your right arm out in front of you. Bring your left leg behind you. Lower that left hip a little bit. Just feel this pose for one breath. And then inhale, stretch out long. Exhale, elbow to knee or just elbow or knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. Listen. Exhale. We're going to hold it. Hold, 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 hold. Crunch, 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 crunch. And then inhale. Open. And then exhale. Put your hand and knee down. Give yourself a little wiggle, a little shake. And we break the other side. So bring your left arm out in front of you and your right leg behind you. So just pause and feel this shape first for a full breath. And then inhale, stretch long. Exhale, crunch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Hold it. Crunch, 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 crunch. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Hand and knee down. Pause here for a moment. Give yourself a little wiggle. A little shake. And then we're going to sit back. So if you can cross your legs and just fall back behind you or you can swing your legs around. Whatever is good for you. And bring your feet out in front of you, knees up. Inhale. 
hands behind you, long spine. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, lean back a little bit and exhale, lift into your boat pose. And breathe. If you want to move your hands to face each other or to support under the thigh, those are options. Just make sure you don't collapse down. Two more breaths. Big inhale. And exhale, cross. Just or just put your feet down and relax your body over your legs. All right, inhale, come up one more. A little fun, fun twist at the end, not a literal twist this time. So lean back. Again, hands behind you if you know you need them to keep the spine supported and straight. And then lift your legs. Take a breath. Let it go. Listen, inhale. Exhale, come to low boat. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low boat. Just one more. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low boat. And hold, pause, hold, pause, hold, pause. And lay down. Woo. Bring your knees into your chest. Give them a hug. And then keep the right knee pulled in. Let the left leg come down. And just pull that knee in toward your face. It is really up to you at this point of your practice if you want to keep the left foot, the straight leg, flexed or relax it. If you want to keep a little more, um, keep this pose a little more solid, you'll flex the foot and keep that leg active. But if you want to relax a little, let it go. All right, at this point, bring your knee over closer to your armpit. So you may need to hold on to your leg to do this. Maybe you can still hold on to your knee. Another option is if you're able to, grab the bottom of your foot angle that knee toward the armpit and just push. We're going to come into half happy baby as well. So wherever you are, you're in the right place to hold half happy baby. Take one more breath. If you've got the foot, just lift the leg up in the air. There you are, half happy baby. If you're holding on to something else, as long as your foot is flexed, pointed toward the ceiling, your knee is bent like you could press into the floor, you're in half happy baby. Two more breaths. And then bring that knee back into your chest and we're gonna come into a twist. So bring that leg across your body. You wanna keep, so this is our right leg, we wanna keep our right shoulder on the mat. So if your knee doesn't touch, or if touching causes your back to come up, your shoulder to come up, bring it back up. Extend that right arm long to encourage that shoulder down. You can let the leg hang out or you can put a little hand on it, just gently. You could turn the head the opposite way that your knee is going, so looking toward your right hand. Two more breaths. And then inhale back to center. Bring both knees into your chest. And this time keep the left leg hugged in. Oh, I didn't say on the other side. If your back's bothering you, you can keep this right leg bent, foot on the mat. But if it is okay, extend the leg. Again, flex just to be a little more active. Relax to be more passive in the pose. Try to keep the bent leg flexed. We're working this leg right now. Couple more breaths. And then again, toward your armpit. So you're grabbing anywhere along the leg just to push it in toward your armpit. Or if you are able to grab the inside of your foot, it's just a it's a good leverage point. 
you don't have to think as much or really work as hard to get that knee up toward the armpit because we're just pushing here just from the stretch but if you can't do it you grab someplace else in the leg and actively pull towards your armpit just one more breath here and then lift the foot up to whatever version of happy baby you are in it all looks the same it just depends on where you grab foot is flexed knee is bent One more breath and then let go of the foot hug the knee and then bring it across your body left arm goes out long so again left shoulder will stay down left knee ends up wherever it ends up if you hate the floating motion bring a block under there I don't mind it more breath and then inhale come back up to center give those knees one more hug and then we're going to come into our shavasana so maybe that's arms and legs straight down for you maybe it's knees bent feet wide knees knocked in wherever you are take a deep breath in open your mouth let it go and take and enjoy your rest. Start to take some deeper breaths. Make small movements, wiggle, turn, bend. When you feel ready, bring your knees into your chest and roll onto your right side.
Use your hands as leverage. Push yourself up into a seated position. Your hands into your heart. We have peace in our hearts and in our homes, peace in our communities and in our land, and peace throughout the world. Let your thumbs float, float up to the space in between your eyebrows. And as we end our practice, we bow our heads and say namaste. Thank you for coming and uh, have a great week. Bye.